Uh, a lot of that's going to be predicated on the offenses that we see. If we think a team is going to you know, load up against us and really, really try to make it a run game or run emphasis, then you know, Tobin and the Michael Reynolds, those guys are more physical and more bigger than some of the guys we have. So we'll like to use those guys as bigger Sam outside linebackers where if, if it's a more, more of a spread game, then Prince and Tunde and guys like that, they come more into play because of all the things we ask them to do in space, in coverage. So a lot of that's going to be based on what we think is a staff and who fits best for what we're trying to defend. feel pretty good about the depth you have there overall? Oh, I do. I mean, it's a nice bonus to have a big guy like Tobin who's athletic, uh, just as athletic and just as physical to come over and really, you know, toughen up that spot for us. But, but the guy that's really come on a little bit more – uh, this camp has been Tune Day. You know, he was really kind of out, and he's really kind of coming to his own as far as running around, knowing his assignment, and actually adding a physical presence out there. So it's nice to see him come on, and Prince was just steady throughout spring. It seemed like Tune Day last year had so much of that just fly, 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 run as hard as you can, hit as hard as you can. Have you had to rein him in, and, and is he getting there? You know what? I was trying to get him to fly in the spring, and he was just a little hesitant because it was a new scheme, and we were asking him to do some things different. Uh, but he's definitely pulled the trigger a lot more this spring, and you notice him. I mean, uh, the, you know, Coach Weiss has made several comments about him, Coach Campo as well, and I say, guys, he, he really is a different player from the spring to now. We just have to continue to see if he can keep up with the defenses as we you know, put more schemes and more assignments and see if he can handle the adjustments. That middle linebacker spot, is that guy kind of like the quarterback of, of your defense? What are the responsibilities that go with that position? I like to think so. Uh, you know, a, a lot of things go through the Mike linebacker, you know, from close calls to checks to adjustments to getting us out of cover, certain coverages into certain coverages. So, you know, I like to put that pressure on them so that they know a lot of things do go through them. And uh, I, I put the pressure on those guys to understand that. You know, a lot of guys are counting on you to get us lined up and go play. So uh, that, to me, I, I, I like to equate it to the quarterback of the defense for sure. Yeah, absolutely, and that's the thing. I, I've, I've told these guys every rep counts. You know, we're trying to develop a two deep. Uh, we think all of our guys have to play, and hopefully we'll have a two deep. If someone runs away as a starter, great. But we plan on having a two deep where everyone plays. And I tell those guys, you want to be in that two deep. And, and, and the race is on. So, you know, you got to make sure every rep you get counts because you're, you're being evaluated every single rep. I mean, it's, it's gotten a lot better since the spring, obviously, as a, as a new coach. And with new players, it's, you, you kind of feel distant for a little while. But um, as it's gone, you know, we've, we've learned how he coaches. And he's, he's a very tough guy. He's very hard on us. But, um, I mean, we know what he expects from us and that he wants the best from us. And he's going to have our back no matter what. So we try and do our best to, to have his back and do our assignments correct. Where are you at, Where are you at personally, physically right now? Are you? I'm feeling, yeah, yes, sir, I'm feeling great. It's been, been a while since you felt that way? Does it seem like it's been a while since you felt that way? <laughs> I mean, yeah, because, I mean, you always have the bumps and bruises and stuff, but coming off the foot injury and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm feeling good right now, and I'm excited about this season. Describe your unit a little bit. What, uh, what stood out to you so far in the past week? Um, I mean, right now we have a lot of athleticism. Um, as even like to three deep, we have some good athletes on there. Uh, right now it's just all about getting our assignments right, you know, and being able to see our keys correctly and just do the little things right so we can put ourselves in position because we have plenty of talent. Even when I was injured, you know, I had the same mindset. I wanted to help the team out as best as I could, um, do whatever I could do. And even last year when I wasn't starting or – um, was in the two deep, you know, I, I still wanted to help on special teams and everything else. So I guess my mindset's still the same, you know, I want to do whatever I can to help us win games because ultimately that's really all I care about. Looking down at your foot, that looks like it was painful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gnarly looking, but, you know, it's feeling good now, so I don't really notice it anymore. But you have to have to prove yourself. Everybody's kind of in that boat. Yeah. Um, has it been kind of strange because it seems like whenever we talk to Coach Campbell, he's like, I'm just still evaluating, I'm still evaluating. I mean, everything an audition at this point for everybody? Yeah, um, and I mean, there's always a floating depth chart, and that's something Coach Cross talk, talks to us about all the time. You can't get too complacent. You can't, can't ever be satisfied with the spot you're at. You always got to be working to get better. And, I mean, there's NFL players that <laughs> don't have everything right, you know, so obviously as a college player and um, – on this team, there's plenty of stuff that we can do to get better, and that's what we got to keep working towards. Coach Campos talked about this very much being an evaluation, and mm -hmm. 
it's kind of an ongoing, really an ongoing process, isn't it? Yes, every sir. single day that everything's up for grabs? Mm, I mean, every single day is, you know, we got to go out there and get it. Every single day we have, to, we have to grind, and it's a grind right now for the whole camp, and that's our focus right now is making everything happen every single day. It's taking the same approach every single day to practice. Not that that's maybe any, any different, but does it keep everybody on their toes because everything is so kind of wide open? Well, I mean, I think everybody's just focused to, to do their job right, you know, and do it, do it good. Not necessarily keeping you on your toes, but you know that you got to come to play every single day. You know that he's not going to accept anything but your best. It seems so. like that's a message as well, like mm -hmm. running the football hard, everything being kind of at, at speed. Yes. Um, is that kind of philosophy you've seen? Yeah, it's definitely. It's, it's getting to the ball, making sure that you're uh, making the, the keys that you have to get to, just being everywhere you need to be, and that's what he's preaching to us, and to be on your assignments, and we taking hold of that, and he's just a great coach. Have you seen strides since even the spring? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think we've improved so much from running to the ball and getting to our assignments and lowering on our mental errors and paying attention to what we exactly need to learn. I think we've been doing a lot of improvement in that. Coach Crossan said maybe confidence. He's seen a step forward in, in confidence. Is that just kind of everybody maybe a little more comfortable with what, what they're asking you to do right now? Yeah, I think, you know, time, time heals everything. And I think from the spring to when we came to um, camp right now, I think we've learned to be more confident of ourselves and be more confident in our positions. So we've become better football players. With